Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Stargirl Season 1 Episode 8 Shift Part 2. In this episode directed by Greg and McLeod. And this episode picks up where the last, last episode left off. Excuse me. Courtney got a butt whoop. She's all banged up. She messed up really bad. And so and so they got to explain this to everybody. They got to, she got to explain it to her mom. Pat got to explain this to her mom and to her brother and to, and to his son. And so the only way he know how to do this is she had a car accident. Well, for them to have a car accident, a car got to be messed up. And so he ended up crashing his car. The people must cover the fact she, she snuck out where she wasn't supposed to and trying to get to a fight where she wasn't supposed to. And she got a butt whooped. She almost died. The only reason why she didn't die because of the janitor. Who's one, I think, the, the night dude. Okay, well, I can't think of a thing right now. And so while she's recuperating, she went to the hospital. She's back home now. She's recuperating like that, too. She got, you got the rest of her team. You got um, Beth. You got Yolanda and Rick. They're pissed. Well, but mostly Rick. He's pissed off. I mean, they're all upset. They're all mad. They want to get back at, at, um, at, um, at Sydney and take her down. But they, they went through the, they, but because, because of Beth, they went, they went through things the right way. So she's going to use the Dr. Midnight glasses, get information they possibly can, find out what, what's actually going on. Who is Sydney? Who her father is? And find out the truth about that. And while, so while they're doing their own investigation, Pat finds them and said, "Oh crap! What are y'all kids doing? Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all gonna kill me? Okay, I'm trying to keep y'all safe and keep y'all online. Y'all keep doing everything you want to do. You know, Courtney's about to almost die, and y'all don't listen to me either. What is wrong with you? You'll give me a freaking heart attack." And so Beth goes to the door. He goes there too, and then they pretend to be mother, father and, and, and daughter. They, they had to because that's the only thing they could do. And so inside, inside the house, they meet um, they meet Bobby, and Bobby is like the stepford wife of uh, um, of Doctor, the Dragon King, or should I say, Doctor Edo? She she pretty much like like this, like you know, that's what I could say, a slave, who's forced to pretty much take care of his daughter, and if she if she gets out of out of line, she is taken care of, so she's scared of her mind, and so you got Pat there with um. With Beth there, and, and they're pretty much trying to figure out what's going, what's going on with Sydney, how she connected to the bad guy and stuff like that too. So you got Beth investigating, and then you got Pat keeping um, Bobby company, talking to her, fixing her sink. And the next thing you know, I guess Bobby thought there was an opportunity there so she could like pretty much have fun with Pat. And Pat said, "Oh, I'm sorry, I just had that kind of party." She like. I'm not sure she's getting fulfilled from Dr. Ito, or she, I'm not sure what they're doing there. But she's she's a little lonely right now, and so she thought and Pat's a nice guy. He's fixing that. He's fixing that. He's fixing something for her. He's he's handy. He's not he's not bad looking, and so I guess she thought that was an opportunity so she could um have some fun. I don't know either who, either who. You have Courtney's trying to get better. You got the kids trying to um find information on Sydney. And it's, and it's like always, things do not go according to plan, but they know they do not go as bad. And then, so it's, cause the thing is, though, they're, they're trying to get Sydney, but Sydney wasn't there. So where is Sydney? Where'd she go? What's going on there? Sydney ends up at um, Courtney's house, giving her a nice little, um, che cheering her on, making her feel good, visiting her while she, her friend, while she was sick. And, and you got Courtney confused with this, um, why are you here? Why are you here? I thought, I, so... She doesn't know that she knows who she is, and she's not so sure she knows who she is. And so she gotta act like she's nice to her because she she doesn't want her to think that she, that she who she is that she that she's Star Girl. But it turns out Sydney doesn't know who she is. Sydney doesn't know she's Star Girl. She she recognized her from the mask. The mask didn't cover your face up. I I still know who you are, chick. I almost killed you. You think I don't know who you are? I know who you are. And if you keep on getting in my way, your friends are dead too. And so you guys, Sydney freaking out about that, and they're like, holy crap. But before the, before the freaking out stuff happened, she had a nice little moment with, um, uh, with Mike. She had a nice little moment with Mike. They had a nice little bonding moment. Now, so now, so now they're like, pretty much like officially brother and sister. It was very, very sweet. I, I really did like that moment right there, too. But things were intense. Things were crazy. Sydney, Sydney knows about, um, Courtney, Courtney knows about her, and then, and then on the other side, of the little story going on. You have Henry discovering his powers, but he's not exactly sure what's going on because his father's in a coma. He can't help him. 
And the only reason why Sydney was his girlfriend in the first place because she was like a spy for her dad. The dad wanted to make sure, wanted to know if he had his father's powers. And, and, and Sydney is pretty much told him, no, he don't have nothing. He's the only thing. He's stupid. He's lame. But it turns out, nope, he has the powers too. He got the touch. Yeah, he got the power. Yeah, he, he got it. And you see him figuring it out here and also using it, not in, in, in any of his control, but yeah, it, it is what it is. Overall, I did enjoy this episode a lot. Hopefully, Courtney has learned her lesson and she won't run off anymore and do things by herself. Well, we'll see. But, 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 but just watching the fight scene between her and Shiv and then the whole scene, even the scene with her and, and Shiv in the, in the bedroom together and, and, and Sydney was being so nice to her and being so sweet and then, and, and then she did that reveal that she knew who she is. It was like so intense and like it's so crazy that nothing was happening but it, was, it felt like, oh, like, 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 ooh. Like, wow. Also, there's a comedic moment in here, too. Watching the whole thing with going with Pat and Bobby and and, and watching uh, um, uh, Beth using the glasses. I don't know what's going on inside the house. And also, you also have another little struggle going on between um, Pat and, and Courtney and them, about the, them telling the truth to, um, to, to Barbara. Telling her what's going on. Because Pat wants to tell her. Because he can't keep her dark forever. And, 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 and can't, he can't keep wrecking his cars to, to make make things every time you get banged up. So, you got to tell her the truth. Which I think he should. I think he should do that a long time ago. Because you got, because you got um, Icicle getting close getting close up to her. Which is not good. And if she he keeps lying like this, all it's going to do is drive her to him. And that's not a good thing. Because the thing is, though, he's evil. And, like, oh. 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 <sighs> This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well at all. But overall, cool fight scenes. Cool like that. It's cool special effects. The way they've done on a special for a TV show like this is done quite nicely. I really do like these characters. I, I, I'm, I'm still waiting for them to get to, to, to that superhero stature. They're not there yet. They're still fumbling and bumbling and getting there, getting there but they're, they're learning along the way. Looking forward to seeing that big fight when things go down. We got Pat in his, his mech suit, and then they finally get their act together. We'll see how that goes. But for the for the first start, they are not winning, not winning at all. Because yeah, because Courtney still recovering. She, she had she had she had, she had enough, enough enough in her to must fight um Shiv again. Still almost get a bubble again. Yeah, at least she didn't die this time. Oh, she almost died the first time, so she, I guess she is improving a little bit. Uh, like I said, great episode. Looking forward to see the next one. See how things going to turn around. Hopefully, these kids get their act together. Fingers crossed. So let's just see what happens. So let's put your finger, put your um, comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of um, a Star Girl. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you watch it. You will enjoy it. Haven't watched it too. So give me a chance to like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'll drop you 100,000 subscribers. Help me on my journey to get there. For all those who have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. Like I always say, in my dreams of a life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.